Go where? To do bath time. Why? So you can play video games? Yes. Five minutes later. How many people? Oh, is it just me and Wit left? Uh oh, now it's just me. Gordon Hayward is a multi-millionaire that plays for the Boston Celtics in the NBA. He gets to compete against world-famous superstars like LeBron, KD, and Steph Curry. But if there is one thing that he has in common with an average Joe, it's his love for video games. Usually as you get older and have more responsibilities such as going to work or getting married and having a family, you gradually have less time to hop onto your Xbox and pwn some noobs on Call of Duty. But not for Gordon Hayward. Soon to be a father of four beautiful kids, let me share the story of the Celtic star on his incredible passion for video games and his rise to stardom in the NBA. On March 23rd, 1990, Gordon Daniel Hayward was born in Indianapolis, Indiana, along with his twin sister Heather. Even at a young age, Gordon was super competitive in everything. Whether it was in sports, video games, or trivial things like who gets to the car faster, he didn't want to lose, especially when it was against his twin sister. Gordon's love for video games started at a young age as he recalls that some of his best memories growing up was playing duck hunt with his dad. Growing up, Gordon was into playing both tennis and basketball. Him and his sister often competed in double tennis tournaments and was also a recipient of a two-time state singles. He showed promises in both sports, however before going to high school, he wanted to quit basketball and pursue a professional career in tennis due to the fact that he wasn't tall enough but thankfully was persuaded by his mom to try it for just one more year. Gordon was 5'11 by his junior year, but by the time he graduated, he had grown to be about 6'8". inches. Along with his insane growth spurt, his basketball skills grew exponentially as well. He was named the Indianapolis Star Player of the Year and led his team to a state championship where he won the game by hitting a miraculously game-winning buzzer beater. As for his collegiate career, Hayward would stay in his hometown Indiana and accepted a basketball scholarship to Butler University. This was where he would meet for the first time his current NBA head coach Brad Stevens. At the time, Brad was the first person to suggest that Gordon had NBA potential as the coach was blown away by his versatility, on-court decision making, and fluid athleticism. In order to get ready for the pros, Gordon had to put in the work. The countless number of hours in the gym, the weight training, along with his academics, he had to be laser focused on his goals. It would only make sense to remove him from as many distractions as possible, which meant putting a pause on his video games. However, that's not exactly how it panned out. As a matter of fact, when he was in high school, he was hooked in a first person shooter game called Halo and even formed his own team to compete at local tournaments. When he went to Butler University, he got into the PC games like StarCraft II and eventually into his favorite game, League of Legends. According to his friends, Gordon was actually good enough to compete at a professional level as he was involved in multiple gaming tournaments and actually won them. Funny enough, he even had to confirm with Coach Stevens to make sure that he wasn't violating any rules of the NCAA, whether if it was a violation for him to compete and win the prize money. With all this time spent in front of a monitor, you could have expected that to have hindered Gordon's development in some way. But in fact, it was the opposite. In the two years that he played, Gordon was the main star on the team and even took his team to an NCAA championship game in 2010. Although they were a runner-up as Gordon narrowly missed a last second desperation shot by inches, the media called it what could have been the greatest shot, the greatest upset, and the greatest game in the history of college sports. That bitter moment still remains today with both Gordon and Coach Stevens, and from then on, they made a vow to finish their unfinished business by winning a championship together in the NBA. Call it destiny or not, they may have the opportunity to do it together this season. As for his season averages, he started in all of 69 games, finished his collegiate career with the averages of 14.4 points, 7.4 rebounds, 1.8 assists, while shooting 47 from the field and 37% from threes. Following his sophomore season, the Butler native declared for the 2010 NBA Draft and would be selected with the ninth pick by the Utah Jazz. By the time Gordon got to the league, things were much more different than college. The NBA is a man's league, full of guys with the same competitive drive but with way more muscles. The games are physical, played at much faster pace, and play way more number of games with less rest compared to college. During his rookie season, despite showing flashes of talent, Gordon was labeled as soft and skinny by his peers. He 
He had this dorky haircut, and with his baby face, it was easy for NBA and fans to make little of him. One thing for certain, even when he got to the NBA, Hayward's love for game never faded away. During his downtime, and even on road trips, he would take his portable laptop to play his favorite games. During the regular season, he even competed in StarCraft II tournaments, competing against 256 other players for a grand prize of $100,000. He quotes that video games were a way of staying connected to his former friends back in Indiana. Whether or not he was physically 100 miles away from his friends, he was just a click away from being able to hang out with them. Despite the hours and hours trying to climb the ELO, Hayward continued to showcase his talent and gotten better every year. By the end of his sophomore season, he finished third in voting for the Sixth Man of the Year award, and by his fourth and fifth year, with the departure of Al Jefferson and Paul Millsap, he became the focal point for the Jazz offense and went on to have a career best all across the board. He slowly began to establish a name for himself, and when his rookie contract expired, becoming a restricted free agent for the first time, Hayward was initially offered a four-year, $63 million contract from the Charlotte Hornets, which was quickly matched by the Jazz. However, at the time, Hayward was receiving a lot of heat from fans and media because although he was a decent player, he didn't prove to be worth that much money. He was good, but he was a bench player on a good team at best. Finishing last place in the Western Conference that season certainly didn't help the case either. With all this negative noise around him, that offseason, he decided to dedicate himself to the game and wanted to show everyone that he was worth every single penny. By the time the 2014 season started, Gordon returned with an additional 10 pounds of muscle and topped off his new physique with arguably the league's freshest haircut. All that offseason work would pay off as he averaged the most amount of points and his team would steadily climb the rankings as well. By his seventh season, while averaging a career-best 22 points, Gordon was voted into his first All-Star game and even took the Jazz to the postseason. Although the first-time All-Star was finally able to elevate his game, some of his old habits never really changed. Gordon was still playing as League of Legends, if not even more. And in fact, in 2014, Gordon was invited to hang out at his favorite League of Legends professionals team's gaming house. He also ventured off into playing different games like Overwatch and Hearthstone, and in 2016, he signed a partnership with a company that specializes in gaming equipment in HyperX and became a model for them. He was invited to many different gaming tournaments as a guest appearance and had become a huge influencer in growing the gaming community such as esports. After finishing his all-star season, Hayward became a free agent yet again. The last 7 years in Utah was incredible, but he really hadn't accomplished much in terms of playoff success and competing for a championship. The closest he got was a conference semifinals where he was then swept by the Golden State Warriors in 2017. He began looking for other opportunities and it was then when he received a phone call from the Boston Celtics. To his surprise, when he picked up the phone, it was his former collegiate head coach Brad Stevens. The two talked and the coach was able to persuade that this was the best place for them to redeem their failed championship experience and win a title. Gordon would go on to sign a 4 year $128 million contract and at the time was the Celtics highest paid player and 6th highest paid player in the league. The avid gamer was ecstatic to join his former head coach along with a talented young Celtics squad and couldn't wait for his fresh new start. However, when the 2017 season began, something went very wrong. On October 17th, on opening night versus the Cavaliers, with 5 minutes into the game, Hayward went up to catch an LU pass. He collided with the defender and landed his entire body weight on his left leg. His ankle was immediately broken, and at the time, other players and fans across the world were in shock and couldn't even bear to watch what had just happened. Luckily for him, the fracture was a clean break and with proper rehab and recovery, he was expected to make a full recovery. He went into surgery the next day, and even made a quick I'm OK message to the Celtics fans a few days after. And just like that, his 2017 campaign came to an unexpected end, and he had to focus the rest of his year on recovering. With grueling days of repetition and rehab, Gordon learned to strengthen his leg, and pretty much had to learn how to walk all over again. Fortunately, his rehab process went great, and in 6 months, he was able to run again. By the time training camp began the following year, he was able to participate in it, and a month after that, he was in the starting lineup to begin the 2018 season. In one interview, he recalled that his time rehabbing from this potential career-ending injury was one of the hardest things he's done 
and was also one of the darkest moments of his life. It's true that he couldn't do much other than stay home and let his body rest. But one of the things that helped him get through this process was none other than his video games. It was during his rehab was when he hopped onto the Fortnite scene, as well as teaming up with many other famous streamers to do what he does best. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Although he was declared healthy to play by the time the 2018 season began, it was evident that Gordon's skills had regressed to some level. You could tell that he was going to need some time to get back to the flow of things. He eventually fell out of the starting lineup and his season averages dropped dramatically as well. Luckily, by the end of the season, he began to show flashes of his old self, but more importantly, he was healthy enough to play 72 games that season. In the following summer, many doubts followed, whether or not Hayward was able to get back to his former self and how this could ultimately affect the Celtic seller cap and future. Fast forward to the current season, it's safe to say that Gordon has proved all doubters wrong and is back to his all-star form. Prior to the NBA hiatus because of the coronavirus, from an efficiency standpoint, Hayward has shot 50% from the field as well as 39% from deep. He's the only player on the current Celtic squad to be top 4 in scoring, assists, and rebounding. With the NBA set to return on July 31st, Gordon and the Boston Celtics will be one of the 22 teams contending for a championship. The Celtics definitely have a great chance to win it all with the talent that they have, but even if he doesn't, you can't help but envy how he can just head home to his beautiful wife and kids, get paid $32 million a year, and play some more League of Legends. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Hoops Culture, and I'll see you guys in the next one.